thank you very much. Is this mic on? Yeah, yeah. yeah we can sit. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you can sit. <laughs> well, that was very nice. I, I deeply appreciate it. That's, that's not something that's required in every meeting we have, by the way. But uh, good morning to all of you. And welcome to the seventh winter meeting. One which I believe is going to be one of the most important that we have ever convened. As, a, as an organization, RISC has been doing this for over seven years now, and I really do believe that the ground in Rhode Island is at, late, at last shifting. The revolution is at hand, and I hope we can get beyond it this year because, frankly, I'm, I could use the rest. <laughs> Uh, seriously, there are several important comments that I need to make before we begin, but uh, before I do that, there's someone in the room uh, that, who needs to be introduced, and I want to acknowledge her presence at the very outset. It is my pleasure, my honor, to introduce a woman who has displayed enormous courage uh, in the town of Central Falls, Dr. Frances Gallagher. Thank you for a very, very well-deserved ovation for a great lady. Uh, by the way, uh, due to no fault of hers, she's a short person. I don't, know, I don't know whether you had a chance to see her or not, but will you stand again? Folks, uh, I think uh, many in this room are aware of it, but uh, an earthquake has erupted here in Rhode Island. Uh, if you were on the way this morning and listened to the news, you know they had a terrible earthquake down in Chile. And I don't want to build on that kind of tragedy, but uh, the aftershocks of our earthquake are being felt in every community across this state and even across the nation. And that earthquake, earthquake occurred when Dr. Gallo made the courageous deci decision that she had to make to dismiss the faculty of the continually failing high school in Central Falls. So it's, it's a real honor to have you here, Dr. Gallo, and uh, obviously those in this room appreciate uh, your courage and your decision. We're also honored today to have with us uh, our leader, a man who is no stranger to the battles of the public arena and who has been uh, our highest ranked state official for the past seven years and a great friend of risk and every citizen of Rhode Island, the Governor Don Kachiri. Please stand, so because uh, she's kind of getting old. We'll have an opportunity to hear from the governor a little bit later uh, in the program. Uh, there are also some other people in some other people in the audience that I want to recognize. Uh, we have with us today a number of state and local officials. Uh, time simply doesn't permit me the opportunity to introduce each of them separately. But I would ask those who are serving in public office today to please stand and be recognized. I know that you have to be and, this, and this being an election year, there are also among us some people who are running for public office, or will be, uh, as the uh, time goes on. And I want to ask those people if they will please stand and be recognized. <laughs> to all of these people, I want to offer our thanks 
for uh, the gift of time and talent uh, that they have given to service uh, to the citizens of Rhode Island. Regardless of your party, regardless of your point of view, we recognize and thank all of these people for the sacrifice that they're making to serve in their communities and in this state. And we appreciate your dedication and it is deeply appreciated. Uh, one other thing that I need to, uh, to say uh, re regards, and it's an organization that I've come to know very well as a member, and that is the Operation Clean Government. Uh, we've had the great uh, honor and privilege to serve with them and to work with them, to develop a kinship with them uh, over the years on some very important issues. Coming up next week, uh, next Saturday as a matter of fact, is uh, the biennial candidate school that OCG always puts on for us and does such a great job. Uh, this, year, this year's uh, uh, school will convene at the Officers Club at Quonset, the old club, and anyone who is thinking for, of running for public office, or if there's anyone out there who just would like to know how it's done, or is going to be willing, is going to help a candidate, I would recommend that you look seriously at attending that candidate school. Uh, it will, I think it costs $95. It's the best $95 you would ever spend because you will receive not only instruction, but materials that will help you tremendously over the in the coming months uh, as you work on your respective uh, candidacies. I would ask, uh, if I may, if, I know there's some members of OCG. Would you, would you at least put your hands up uh, with me because I am a member too. And these are great people. And if you need, if you need any information about the school, they're here and they'd be glad to talk to you, I'm sure, and on the table you will find applications for the candidate school if you're interested. I hope some of you will. The other, the other thing you can do is go to their website, which is easy to remember, ocgri.org, uh, and you can register there. <coughs> I want also to uh, note that we have a camera here today which has been contributed and the services of our Marty Goldstein and the others who are here uh, from Media Appeal. Uh, they have been helping us a great deal in the last two sessions that we had and we're grateful to them uh, for the gift of their uh, time and their talent to, to help this program uh, be recorded. Now, uh, before I uh, introduce our first speaker, I want to briefly speak to you about something that is uh, frankly, in my view, the single most important mission that RISC has ever, uh, ever undertaken. <coughs> this past January, RISC launched what we believe is a plan of action to address the state's dire fiscal problems, its condition, and the entrenched obstacles uh, that exist in this state to economic growth. It's called the RISC Business Network, a recognition by us that business is the voice that now has to join with our taxpayers to bring about the change that we all know must occur. It's a voice that's been too silent for too long, but to every one of the 35,000 business owners in this state, we know you're out there, we know you're hurting, and we know that you're worried about your future in this state. The organization of the Business Network, will, which you will hear about in just a few minutes, is an effort to emphasize the, the, uh, the voice of business and their contribution to the solution of these problems. But I want to emphasize also that you, that I, that everybody in this room, and all those out there who can be here today, that we need your help. If we're going to execute this plan and bring the business community into this uh, solution, You'll hear more about that, as I say, in just a moment, but please bear in mind if there's anything you can do, either as a business owner or as an individual, we do need your help. 